Hi guys, in this video I will be showing you how to root any Samsung device using matches. While I am using Samsung Galaxy S23 for this video, but this method will work for all the Samsung devices. Before we get started, a quick disclaimer. Rooting your device will void your warranty and may disable certain features like Samsung Pay, Samsung Pass, Secure Folder and more. Additionally, once you unlock the bootloader and root your device, you might encounter issues with the app that rely on lock security. And guys, keep in mind, rooting your device can be risky. And if something goes wrong, your device might be stuck on bootloader. So I highly recommend to watch the entire video before attempting this uh, to yourself. This is going to be the most detailed guide on rooting your Samsung device, covering each step in depth. And I will also add timestamp below, so feel free to skip around if you are already familiar with certain steps. Alright fam, enough intro, let's dive right in. So first thing first, let me show you which device I am using. Uh, so let's head over to settings and about phone. Here as you can see, I am using Samsung Galaxy S23. Running on the latest One UI 6.1 and Android version is Android 14. This method will also work on other Android versions, including the upcoming Android 15. Now to check device is rooted or not, I have installed Root Checker Basic app, which you can download from the description link below. As you can see, there is a message saying, sorry, root access is not properly installed on this device, which confirms that my device is not rooted yet. So let's root this. The first step in the routing process is enabling OEM unlock. This option allows you to unlock the bootloader, which is essential for routing any Android phone. So we can enable it uh, by going to about phone and tap on build number seven time. Until you see a message, you are now a developer. Once developer option is enabled, go back and there you will see developer option so open it here look for the OEM unlock and here it is just enable it enter your pattern and you might see a warning message just confirm that you want to proceed enabling OEM unlock is crucial so make sure to follow the step carefully once OEM is enabled scroll down and enable USB debugging option it allows your Samsung device to communicate with the uh, PC so both option OEM and USB debugging are now enabled. We are ready to move on to the next step, which is downloading the firmware for the specific Samsung device. So let's move to the PC screen. First open any browser on your computer and search for Odin. Odin is a powerful tool that we will use later to flash the firmware and root your device. I will also provide the direct link in the description below, so you can download it from there. So once the Odin is downloaded, let's open it folder and extract it. After extracting, open the newly created folder. Inside you will see Ordin executable file and some other files also. We will use Ordin application shortly. But first, let's get the firmware prepared for flashing. So to download the firmware, first we will need to identify device model. You can find this information in the setting menu, open about phone and go to software info. Here you will see a baseband version. Make sure to note down the exact number. Once you have your extract baseband version, enter it in Google along with the term Samsung firmware. So the first website you should open is SamFW. This site provides a comprehensive database of Samsung firmware files. Make sure to download a firmware version that matches your device baseband version. There is no room for mistake here. As flashing the wrong firmware could break your phone and leave it strong on Samsung logo. So downloading the correct firmware is important. Once you find the right firmware, download it. Be patient as this file can be quite large. The firmware size can vary device to device. For example, the firmware size for my Galaxy S23 is about 13 GB. So ensure you have a stable and fast internet connection to avoid interruption. Firmware is not downloading. But since I have already downloaded it, I am going to cancel this process. And here is the same firmware that I downloaded it earlier. Once the firmware is downloaded, we need to extract it first. So let me quickly extract it. After the extraction is complete, you will see several files in the folder, including BP, BL, CP, and CSV files. Now connect your phone with the PC and copy this CP file and paste into your Samsung device. Once the file is copied, we are ready for the next step, creating Magix patch file. On the device, you need to install Magix Manager app. You can download it from the description below. Once it is installed, open it and here tap on install button and then click on select and patch a file. 
Now navigate to the location where you pasted cp file. Uh, here it is. Select it and click on plus go. Magis will now begin the patching process. This process might take 5 to 6 minutes, so please be patient and wait for it to finish. After approximately 15 minutes, our patch file has been successfully created and saved to the download folder. Uh, let's confirm this by opening in file manager. And there you go. You should see the file named something like magic patch.tar. Now connect your phone with the PC and transfer this patch file to your PC. So let me quickly move it. Now our patch file is copied to PC. Uh, we will use this in order later. Now it's time to move on this step 3, which is unlocking the Samsung bootloader. To unlock the Samsung bootloader, we need to prepare the device first. Make sure to backup any important data. Before unlocking the bootloader, I recommend to removing any pin or pattern on a device and set a screen lock type to none. Additionally, it's a good idea to remove any Google account or Samsung account login into your device. While this step isn't mandatory, it can help prevent potential issues during the unlocking process. Once you have completed this preparation, we can proceed to unlock the bootloader. First, connect your device with the PC. Once it is connected with the PC, we need to restart it. So let me restart it. And once the Samsung logo disappears, press and hold volume up and volume down button simultaneously. Now release the button when you see a warning about custom OS appear. Now we need to press and hold volume up button for a few seconds and the bootloader locking wizard will begin. Uh, here you will see option to unlock the bootloader or restart the phone. Since we want to unlock the bootloader, press the volume up button once. Please note that this process will wipe all your data. So it's important to back up all your data before performing this action. Once you press the volume up button, your device will automatically boot to the operating system. And guys, after unlocking the bootloader, you will see a warning message every time you power on the device. Simply press the power button to continue and wait for it to boot up. So our device has successfully booted up. Uh, let me quickly set it up. Now that our device is up and running, let's confirm if the bootloader is unlocked or not. Uh, to do this, we need to enable a developer option again by tapping on build number 7 times. So as you can see, a message indicating that bootloader is already unlocked which means our Samsung device bootloader has been successfully unlocked. Now scroll down and enable the USB debugging option. With that done, we are ready for the next step, which is flashing the magic patch file using Arden. First, we need to connect your phone with the PC. Now we need to boot our device into the download mode. Uh, so to boot it, uh, simply press volume up and volume down button just like we did earlier. This time we need to press volume up button once to boot into download mode. Now our device is successfully booted in the download mode. Here you will see FRP lock is off and OEM lock is also off. Uh, if you see this message then we are good to go. So let's move to the PC screen. Now on your PC open Arden. Uh, once the Arden is open you will see a message indicating that your device is connected. Guys let me move this magic patch file to the firmware folder for easy access. Now in Arden, click on the AP button and select the magic patch file. Now click on the BL button and select the BL file and do the same for CP and CSC files. Guys for the CSC option make sure to select CSC file not the home CSC since we are rooting our device for the first time. Once all the files are selected Keep everything as it is, simply click on the start button to start the process. This process might take 3 to 4 minutes, uh, so let me fast forward it. Now guys, as you can see, we have received a pass message in order, which means all the files have successfully flashed and our device is restarted automatically. If you encounter any error, please let me know in the comments. 
Once you flash this, you might see a warning message saying that this is not official software. You can simply ignore it and wait for the device to boot up. In some cases, your device might boot into the recovery mode. If that happens, simply use the volume button and format the device and restart it. Now our device has successfully boots up. You will notice that magic is pre-installed on our device, which is clear indication of root access. Uh, but it is asking for the update. We need to download magic APK and update it. Now that magic is updated, uh, let's open it. Here you will see a prompt asking to reinstall magic to ensure everything works properly. Uh, click on OK and then select direct install and then click on let's go uh, the process will begin and might take a few moments to complete now it is asking to reboot the device simply press on the reboot button and your device will reboot automatically uh, so device has booted up successfully now let's check if everything is working as expected and yes matches is installed and no longer prompting for an update next let's download the root checker basic app to verify if device is loaded or not so app is now installed, let's open it and then click on verify root and here grant the permissions and there you go you should see a confirmation message that your device is rooted successfully so as you can root any device uh, by this method so wait that's a wrap up on this tutorial how to root any Samsung device using magic I hope you like this video if you like it please give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing channel if you have any question or ran into issues, uh, feel free to leave in the comments below. I am here to help. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. This is Jarvis signing off.